Good. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'll try this. Okay. Go. Hello. Birds of Paradise comes down <laughs> for Marat. We are underway. Chalice on one, getting forced, pitching Ice Fing Coatl. DJ Jazz Jeff is here, says, hi, Chris. Glad I could catch the stream today. I'm uh, glad you're here. Welcome. Still time left to make a prediction in the live chat. Ponder. What's happening? I your turn. I, I, I put on top draw. Draw? Yep. Same goblin. <laughs> Try again. Try this one. Uh, this time. Uh, before it resolves, I'm going to bolt you. Okay, Chalice goes on the stack and responds, bolt you, but it re will resolve. Yeah. So, the confusion. You got it. And then. Uh, I don't know. Odawara is the other land for Francesco, who plays Urza's Bobble and passes the turn. Play a land for turn. Pass to you. Draw? Yep. Okay. There's another Urza's Bobble for Francesco. Stuck. Connect. You have two cards, right? I have two cards. Uh oh. Kappa Cannoneer. There it is, everybody. Remember when everybody was complaining about Kappa Cannoneer? Does anybody remember that that's watching right now? 54% favored for Alluren, says Twitch chat. 54%. Add that to your spreadsheets. Okay, some people are still complaining. So, that is going to be a 3 4, right? It's going to be a 3 4 with reach. This is, this is a 5 5. Yes. Right? So, when it comes in. So, I'll target you, you put that okay. at the bottom. Uh, if, if it resolves. Uh, how many cards? I have one card. Yes, it resolves. Okay. Go to my turn. Yes. Uh, uh, turn. Last couple of games. Yeah, eight cast is a cool deck. Francesco has been doing quite well with it at the locals. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Thought, cast. Thought cast going on the stack. Looks like a resolve. Francesco will draw two. I love that Thought Cast is getting some play in Legacy. I, I, I don't know about you people, but I love it. Yep. I love that card. I'll flash in a glottal. Trigger this, put in the Okay. Trigger draw. Yep. Put my turn. Yep. Drop the turn. Yeah. All right. I swing Coatl is on the battlefield. Yep. Kappa Cannoneer can become unblockable. Durance getting in some attacks. It's going to be hard to race this Kappa Cannoneer. Thank you. 
Oh, I just realized why the uh, the emotes were in there because the emote is called Kappa. That is really funny. Actually. Yep. Reveal a random card, right? Yep. What's the backstory on that Kappa emote anyway? Does anybody know? I, I'm not in the know. There was an Alluren. We saw an Alluren. Everybody stop what you're doing. We saw an Alluren. It does exist in the deck. Yep. Yeah. I didn't Okay. Incredible. <laughs> Mox Opal comes in. Urza Saga is on the battlefield for Francesco now. Oh, that's, oh, that's actually 20, but yeah. Uh, uh, I'll ten set sack to drain you twice. Yep. I'll block her at 14. Can be blocked. Oh, can be blocked, sorry. Because I crossed... Uh, oh, whenever you cast something. Okay, okay, okay. Right, right. You're right, you're right. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, sure. Actually, I'll forgot the number of seven. seven. I can play Jasmine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, turn. Fetches twenty. says, "I think the Kappa emote is about some executive or founder of Twitch who made a funny face during a presentation, as if he had doubts about what another person said." Okay. That sounds like a likely story. Any, any artifacts? Or if you make a token, two, two, it's still a game. It's unblockable, oh, right? Oh, three, mm -hmm. Okay, so creating a construct next turn will make Kappa unblockable and bigger. So Kappa is a big problem for Murad at the moment. All right, we're going to game two. Francesco up a game here against Aluren. So, with uh, Kappa Cannoneer going all the way in game one, we'll have to see what, uh, well, the Chalice on one probably did quite a bit, but the Kappa Cannoneer went all the way. So we'll have to see what Artifact Hate Aluren has brought in here in game two. Maybe a meltdown will be in store for us. We will find out. Mox Opal and pass for Francesco. The fact that you chose to end one to end your entire turn. 36 minutes, you've done nothing. Living Wish on turn two. Maybe a Collector Oof going to get found here. Seeds of Innocence, possibly. Wendy pointing that out. There's a saga. Nidalon says, cheers from Sweden. Finally catch you live. Good to have you here. And hello from New York City. I'm getting there. Okay. You cannot tap this one, right? Ah! You're right. No mail craft. Yeah, You're right. Okay. That's going to be this way. This is okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. All right, a Mistress Bobble comes down. Small error from Francesco. Forgetting about Metalcraft. There's an Emery now. There's a Saga, Kappa Cannoneer, Ancient Tomb, and Mox Opal. So, Kappa Cannoneer. In the graveyard now, and Emery will be able to activate and cast it potentially. Collector Oof is in hand now for Marat, but likely going to hit the table this turn. Yes, yes, sir. I don't know what that was thinking. Bolting Emery. Okay, it's a start. Let's see if Marat makes a land drop and cast the Oof. No. So this goes to two. A second Urza Saga for Francesco. Uh -huh. Collector Oof is likely going to come uh, down now. I would be surprised if Marat didn't cast it this turn. Makes a land drop. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> wow, you started with land? Well, if we skip over Collector Oof this turn, next turn could be quite ugly. I think it's mandatory that Marat tries to get this Collector Oof on the table. Maybe if you dis disagree, let me know, but I'd be very surprised if we don't see that hit the stack here. Fetching with Scalding Tarn. Finding a tropical island. Okay. Maybe going to try to cast it and hold up Power Blast? Is that why we're going for a third land? Quite a cut there from Francesco. Tapping three and Reclamation Sage. Interesting. Trigger Reclamation Sage. What are we targeting? You may. Yeah. In response, uh, I do a token, create a token. Sure. In response, create a token. So this resolves or? I'm still thinking. Thinking, okay, okay, you got it. Okay, maybe a metallic rebuke is in store for us? Shanghai, yes. I've been First one. So. Okay, we'll resolve and Marat will hit the newer Urza Saga. Okay. Drawing for turn here is Francesco. Or is the saga that will trigger? Creating a construct before the sack trigger. And now Francesco will search the deck. Collector is still not on the battlefield yet. Does land count? Uh, no. It has to say one or a game. My chalice doesn't count in there because it's excess. I know my deck pretty well. <laughs> 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 fail to find? Do we just have a fail to find of the Urza Saga? There has to be something. What? Not a bobble, nothing? Okay, and Urza's bobble. Okay, maybe maybe just shuffling while thinking there was uh, Francesco. So the constructs are now 5-5s five five, as indicated by the die. Another Mox Opal comes down. It's getting tapped. Thought Monitor, maybe? Thought Cast. Oh, not, not enough for Monitor, but OK. Thought Cast going on the stack. Uh, force that. I'll pitch. Uh, force of Will on Thought Cast. Pitching. Expressive Iteration. Expressive Iteration. A lot of resources. Getting attacked for five, going down to 13. Cast Collector Roof. All right, Collector Roof is now here. Feels like a couple of turns late, this Collector Roof. I, I, I feel like that should have been expedited into play, but. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Feels like we gave Francesco way too much time. Two, two, one. Yeah, I put a 
And you have two cards in hand, right? I have two cards in hand, correct. <laughs> so I'll move the bottom one. Okay. Take five. Okay. Trump blocking with Rex Sage, taking five. Tresco follows up with an Emery. Double thought cast, a needle, and a land, I believe it was. <laughs> Kentucky Fried says, I think I saw a brazen bower. There's Uro. This triggers. Draw a card. Scalding Tarn enters. Lots of laughing in the background. Which is inappropriate. Do you mind if I look at your gear? So, are you having fun yet? <laughs> this is fire design. They're actually amazing. Look at this. Look at these cards. Yep. These things do so much. Kappa Cannoneer. And looks like it's getting cast here. There's Kappa. Everybody's favorite legacy turtle has hit the battlefield. It looks like Marat's in trouble. Marat needs a meltdown and then a way to beat Kappa Cannon here. Seeds of Innocence is a good one. Anybody rooting for a litter and this feels like a key time in the game. <laughs> Another really fancy cut of the deck from Francesco. <clears throat> from Francesco. Twitch chat appears to be rooting for eight cast. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. All right, escaping Uro could help. Ah, force of will, pitching Brazen Bower from Francesco, and a fetch in response. Maybe Marat has a power blast. Well, finds a basic island. We still have not seen the card Allurin get cast by Marat today. Uh, uh, to brainstorm. Yep. Here's a brainstorm from Marat. Three. Go ahead. Uh, uh, force is good. This guy's. Yeah, I'm going to put back to... Do I live through this? I don't think so. All right, because... 6-6, six, six, 5... This one is going to be on yeah. top. Yep. Yep. All right, Francesco gets there.